What is up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming FanDuel Monday Night Showdown featuring the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. So I wanted to go over basically who I was liking, so on and so forth, this roster construction, basically looking at prices, and just go from there. So at the top, we, of course, have our MVP slot and our four flexes. So up top, like I said, we got Lamar Jackson, and Patrick Mahomes, both guys who are going to put up such high points in this QB matchup that you just cannot go wrong with either one. So I personally like Mahomes slightly more on this format. The $500 gets you a lot to room to play with. I like his targets a lot more. And Lamar Jackson, though, has a bigger rushing side. So either way, I like both sides of this. Um, so basically I'm just going to start in the flex. So one of the flex guys that I'm liking is Travis Kelsey, who is a consistent target for Patrick Mahomes. So he has the better four compared to the higher ceiling of Tyreek Hill. You can't go wrong with either guy, of course. So if I'm going to put in Patrick Mahomes, I mean, Travis Kelsey, I want to put in Patrick, Patrick Mahomes. So, I might personally do a Chiefs and then a Ravens stack in two lineups. So, basically playing both sides. But like I said, let's just keep going with the roster construction. So, you have Claudio edwards Hilaire, who is a 12500 I don't mind that, but I want to keep seeing what I can play with. You have Mark Andrews at 12000 who he's been pretty consistent. I mean, he's gotten targets, but the first game he looked good, and then the second game just didn't look well. So, the targets are consistent, like I said, but just, he's a boomer bust option. Marquise Brown, if you go look at his stats, he's basically a big play guy that the only way he's going to get you points is the big plays. So, he's similar to Tyreek Hill, basically. See, 101 tar- yards, and then he got only got 42. So, like I said, boomer bust. Mark Ingram is just too high price for me at 10000 I don't like it, just like J.K. Dobbins. Both guys are just splitting carries with each other. With Gus Edwards, I don't like either one. Kickers, I don't mind in this game because of how high scoring it's going to be. But the guy I want to look at is Willie Sneed. So he's been getting you targets, and he's been on the field a lot. So I don't mind him at all. He's gotten six targets overall. Yes, he only got a 3.9, but that first game, he didn't look too bad. And he's cheap. So he's a guy I'm liking a lot. Scrolling down, Nicole Harmon and Robertson. I don't mind either one. I like Robertson more based on the snap count than Hardman. Miles Boykingo is also a guy I'm looking at. So he's gotten the targets also. Five targets and then four targets. Only missed two receptions. So he's not bad at his price whatsoever. And it gives you salary relief. So if you want to go with that route... And be different, you can go with a stack with Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, and Patrick Mahomes. So, or if you want to upgrade and go Marquise Brown over Willie Sneed, I wouldn't mind that whatsoever either. Either way, that gives you enough to play around with. So, like I said, you have enough salary on the table with value to go with what you want. Gus Edwards, I also don't mind. He got you 10, 10 rushing attempts last game. So I don't mind that whatsoever. Anywhere below that, I'm not going to, basically. The, the lowest I'll go is Gus Edwards. So, like I said, it's all about roster construction. I might do this full-on stack with the Chiefs, pretty much. And just try to go from there. Because I want a Chief stack, just in case they do go off. Or you can go with the Raven stack. And... Like, again, let's just play around with what we can do. You can go with this stack and go with the Raven stack. So, and then have a full-on, basically, Lamar Jackson, Willie Steen, Mark Andrews, and Marquise Brown with Travis Kelsey running it back. So, that's not a bad lineup whatsoever. You have all the targets for Lamar Jackson to go to, and then you have Travis Kelsey with the consistent four. So, I don't mind this whatsoever, to be honest, guys. So... Like I said, it's all about which side you're playing. I might play both sides of it and have the Mahomes stack along with 
the Lamar Jackson stack. So that pretty much wraps it up, everybody. For me, I just wanted to go over a quick rundown of roster construction, who I'm liking, who I'm not liking, so on and so forth. I hope everybody has a good night, and stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.